from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News This Morning at 8.30. Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, July 3rd. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 8.30 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Rachel Kim. I'm Michelle Medina. There's a lot going on in your world today. Here's your SoCal Eye Opener. An ongoing manhunt for a hit and run driver who struck and killed a woman in a crosswalk. Plus, travel troubles continue this holiday weekend from flight cancellations and delays to a technical glitch that's giving passengers a lot of headaches. And thousands run for a great cause this morning. We're live in Redondo Beach for the annual 4th of July tradition. All right, so we've got that walk and run going on today. We've got lots of activities for the 4th tomorrow. Alex Bisson, we want to know what are the conditions and weather going to be like? <laughs> you know what, Rachel and Michelle, it is a really good question, and it's really nice to start off the day under a blanket of clouds. That is what a lot of us are seeing if you're along the coast waking up into some of the valleys of course temperatures to start off the day most of us feeling 60s once we head into this afternoon temperatures top out below average so we are feeling 70s across the coast and all across LA and Orange County temperatures in the 80s in the valleys the Inland Empire upper 80s across the high desert with afternoon winds kicking up lower 70s up in the mountains so uh, enjoy the below average temperatures while we have them now because a big warm up is headed our way. High pressure builds and that is going to uh, make our temperatures really start to rise as we head into this upcoming week. We will talk about the timing, the details, just how hot it's going to get. That's coming up very soon. For now, we'll send it back to you. OK, see you soon, Alex. Thank you. All lanes are now back open on the southbound 101 freeway in downtown L.A. this morning. It was shut down after a body was found north of Alameda Street. CHP says they were notified about the body about 3.30 this morning. An investigation is underway to determine whether the person was a pedestrian struck by a vehicle. Well, police are investigating an officer-involved shooting in South L.A. They say officers responded to a man with a gun at 26th Place and Main just before 10 o'clock last night. It's unclear what led to the shooting, but we are told no officers were hurt. The suspect was taken to the hospital. No word on his condition. Police are searching for the driver who hit a woman in a crosswalk and left her there to die. Now, this happened early Saturday morning in Arlington Heights at the intersection of Pico and Wilton Place. 27-year-old Shonkel Washington was walking through a crosswalk when she was hit. Police say the driver did get out of his car, but then drove off. Washington's girlfriend says the crash happened just feet from their apartment. She ran outside to help, but it was too late. And when I got in the middle of the street, I saw her. And I had to run to her. And turn her over. <laughs> and begin to give CPR. A memorial with flowers and candles is now at the corner where Washington died. If you have any information that can help police, please call LAPD's West Traffic Division. Thousands came together this morning for a 5K run in the South Bay. CBS 2's Tina Ezzedine is live in Redondo Beach right now where people are starting to cross the finish line. Tina, how exciting. Very exciting, not just starting to cross, but I actually have the winner here, Shamali Abebe from Oklahoma City. You came out here. Congratulations so very well. Thanks so much. What Thanks. was your time? Uh, he was uh, 1439. Yeah. And so you come out here from Oklahoma City for this race? Yeah, because uh, I used to race uh, 2019 and 2020. So, you know, this year I need to win. That's why I come out. Oh, and you have family out here too, right? My family are here. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, congratulations. 15, would you say 15 what? 1439. 1439. I don't want to say 15. Congratulations again. And thanks for stopping over here right after winning that race. So you can see uh, live here, uh, many people still, uh, you know, crossing over to that finish line. This is a 5K, part of a fun uh, community event. It's a longtime tradition, 4th of July out here in the South Bay. Uh, and each year, anywhere from about uh, 2,500 to 4,000 runners and walkers in this event. This year, they're estimating about 3,000 showed up and it's open to all ages and as you can likely see many of the participants uh, celebrating the fourth dressed in red white and blue so it's also kind of fun there's a little uh, costume contest that's taking place afterwards as well so what's beneficial about this is that uh, aside from the health benefits obviously is that the redondo beach educational foundation it's a charity and it